Hello, Mike James. Um, quick instructional video. Repointing red brick and um, analysing uh, mortar. I'll try not to do too many ums and ers because I've been totally upgraded by you lot for that. So uh, my apologies. Right, so what we have here is some Imperial handmade bricks and I've raked out and I just want to show you why you should never ever repoint the cement mortar. Now I've taken this bit out with um, an SDS drill and there's a bit remaining and I thought hmm yeah this is, a, this is an ideal opportunity for, um, for a little bit of teaching. So as you can see I've got my trusty pen knife here and I'm just trying to prise it out but as you can see the brick work, the brick is, is so soft that it's just eroding right and this is why you never ever repoint old brickwork with cement because because when you try to when you try to take the cement out to repoint then you know you're really up against it um, let's see here's another one you can just see how how friable this brickwork is okay so if you put a hard cement mortar up against it then there's going to be a difference in thermal movement between brick and concrete they do not move at the same rate now, as you can see here this is this is actually it's a cement mortar but it's had some lime put in it to soften it up and all you've got is just cracks all over the place right so when you trust the builder says oh yeah just bang a bit of lime in it mate you'll be fine it is not fine Right, what you actually get is rotten stone. If um, I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm doing a repair at the minute, uh, as well as the brickwork which I'm on, and um, I'm just trying to dye the mortar down a little bit so it at least ties in some way with this awful, awful cement pointing. And as I took this, as I took this out because it was all cracked and really messed up. Uh, I noticed that the uh, that the stone was. Uh, I mean, look at this, right? This is why you do not ever, 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 ever in a month of Sundays, right? No matter how much they're going to pay you, or no matter how cheap the job is, right? Never allow anybody to have a go at your period property that's got stone or imperial handmade brick, right? Don't let them have a go with cement, right? Because all that happens is it just cracks, and what happens is with with cement is it does not. Um, it doesn't age well. You never get people saying, oh, there's a lovely bit of aged cement mortar over there. Because it's just pants, right? They'll, you know, you get, you get architects saying, oh, got some lovely aged mortar. Well, I don't know, maybe they, maybe they don't actually do a, a sharp intake of breath. But I do, because I've said, oh, look at that lovely cement mortar there. Right, here, it's just grey. Grey, 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 grey. Horrible, right? It's cracking all over the place. And that's just because it's more to do, actually. It's not so much to do with the um, with the with the with the with the with the, with the with the with the ground movement. It's to do with the stone heating up and then cooling down. That's what creates the cracks. You then get moisture, which um, enters through the cracks, and it doesn't leave. It just sits there waiting and rotting your stone, right? And all you get is rotten stone and, and the mortar rots as well. So the whole thing, if you want to rot a building, you know, if that's your desire, by all means, use a cement mortar. It'll completely knacker it up. Right, so what I've got here is um, I've got a nice, fine aggregate lime mortar. There you go. And that's going to sit between those joints. I'll be in the ground and dead and gone by the time someone eventually gets around to repointing this. Uh, it's it's they say breathable, but you know I mean they're speaking figuratively when they say that. Um, but it does allow, allow uh, vapor laden uh, air, moist, uh, moisture laden air to um, to pass quite easily out of the joint, and it will move. Thermally, this is the most important thing you've got to realise, right? Lime moves thermally. What, what, that, what the sand is and the lime is limestone. Right, the sand um, is simply crushed limestone. The lime 
is actually uh, started off its, its life as rock and it becomes crushed rock and then it just goes on to uh, be the uh, be it just becomes uh, actually it becomes lime putty or it becomes natural hydraulic lime one of the two so it's using limestone with limestone eventually it's not it's a perfectly natural product um, anyway that's it for Mike James for the minute hope uh, you have a lovely day uh, thank you very much bye bye